So diabetes is a disease that affects so many Americans. That's right. And as we learn more about this condition, we're finding out how it can affect us. So joining us this morning to talk about eye care with diabetes is Dr. Katie Duncan. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. All right. So talk to us. What is diabetic eye disease and how does diabetes affect the eyes? Yeah. So diabetic eye disease describes a pattern of injury we see in the eye in diabetic patients. And when we're talking about diabetic eye disease, we're really mostly talking about um, changes that occur in the retina, which is the back layer of the eye. Mm -hmm. What happens is the very small blood vessels that bring oxygen to your eye don't function quite as well in diabetes. So um, that causes sort of a lack of oxygen in the eye and that can create bleeding and swelling and scarring, which can all uh, result in vision loss. Wow, so what are the, if somebody is diabetic, what are the early signs that they can look out for? Yeah, so one really important thing to know about diabetic eye disease is that in its earliest stages, there actually aren't symptoms. So the uh -huh. patients won't know that something's starting to go on in their eyes. So that's why um, we think it's really important for every patient with diabetes to come in and get their eyes dilated every year so that we can catch it in its earliest stages because it's much easier for us to treat in the early stages than um, when pa patients come in with vision loss in more advanced stages. Mm -hmm. So how do you treat it once you see somebody and you see those Good the question. issues? So we have a lot of different ways, fortunately, that we can treat it. Some of the most common would be uh, laser treatments in the eye. Um, we also have medications that we can inject in the eye, and everybody hates the sound of that. Yeah. But it's actually <laughs> this is my first thought. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a lot easier than it sounds. Uh, we numb the eye, we have the patient look the other way so they don't see a needle coming or anything. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of patients who get those every month and they wow. really work. Um, and then for more advanced stages of diabetic eye disease, um, there are operations uh, that can remove bleeding from the eye and scar tissue from the eye. So if there's someone who is looking towards this, they have diabetes, they wanna make sure that they get ahead of the game, mm -hmm. how do you diagnose that without any symptoms? So that's why we say every patient with diabetes needs to come in once mm -hmm. a year, even if they're not having any problem with their vision. Um, because, you know, if caught early, it's much easier to control. Um, and then another really important thing to do is, you know, follow very carefully with your primary care doctor or your endocrinologist to keep that diabetes under very good control because you greatly reduce the chance of having any eye problems if you can do that. That was my next question. Is there any way the diabetics can actually protect their eyes from vision loss? Just control their diabetes as well as they can. Okay. Um, and you know, when the patients come to us for their yearly eye exam, we send our note to their primary care doctor. So we're sort of a team all treating that diabetes and assessing the eye together. So if somebody already has diabetic eye loss, what should they do there? They yeah. feel like they're having some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get to the eye doctor right away, obviously. Um, but if you've already had changes in your eye related to diabetes, um, you often need to be under the care of a retina specialist, which mm -hmm. is um, an ophthalmologist who's done additional training to treat diseases of the retina, the most common being diabetes. Um, so they are the ophthalmologists who do the laser and the injections and the operation. So if you already have vision loss and already have disease, you need to be under the care of a retina specialist. Well, thank you so much for coming in. This is so important and maybe something people even with diabetes didn't know about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you thank for you having so me. Thank you so much, Dr. Duncan. Mm -hmm. Stay with us.